Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so, another quick update. Um, so, as you know, we I uh, got the power finished. It's been year round. And uh, if you remember, this was an open ditch that I ran the power and conduit to. So, the power company came out to wire us up and turn us on uh, because of course it passed inspection he was pretty impressed with my work but then they said we still can't hook you up because our wires are going to be about 130 foot and anything past 100 feet you need one of these so yes i had to put a guy wire on our utility pole now how they usually do this is they auger a big old hole and they put what they call a bust anchor in. It's an anchor that once you get it in the ground, it kind of looks like a cone. It's two plates and then once you get it seven and a half feet in the ground, they have a rod or a, a tool that you stick down there and you bust the anchor plate flat which I've heard isn't real easy. But, luckily, I had um, a friend come out with a mini excavator and he dug me a seven foot trench, which you can see, all the loose dirt. And I expanded that bust anchor before we put her in the ground, which is connected to the anchor rod and then I put a whole bunch of concrete around it and then we filled the ditch in and tamped it at different stages so we are all good to go pretty impressed uh, with how it came out uh, came out real well uh, I bought this as a, a whole kit comes from a hardware store in California so yeah that's the latest um, still waiting on power so that I can build a porch and do some flooring inside the trailer um, still waiting on power to um, get the computer and the pump hooked up with the septic system um, so, yeah, power. That's our big thing. And now, hopefully, we can have the power company come out and hook it up. All right, guys, so that's the latest. Uh, stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for stopping by. Hutchison Farm is coming along.